Dear Valuable Distributors, Welcome to Energic India, KYC and DSA program. Today in this session, we will explain the KYC and DSA process on how to upload your KYC documents and obtain your DSA digitally. So, As you know, the applicants will get the distributor's ID after sending the correct applications forms to GOC and the process will start after obtaining your distributor's ID. At the back end, the KYC session is initiated to complete your KYC and DSA where you will get a notification on your registered email address with Energic. Now let me go to my Gmail. So as you see, you've received a notification email from Energic to complete your KYC and DSA. Once you open it, you can click on the hyperlink KYC and DSA system. Now this is redirecting us to Energic India official website. So you can access the distributor section on the website and click on KYC and DSA system which has now put us on the Energic apps where you can upload your KYC and sign your DSA also check the status of your KYC. So let's start by uploading the KYC documents and signing the DSA digitally by clicking on upload now it's prompting you to enter the distributor's ID which you would have received from us. I'm just using the dummy ID created for ourselves. Let's submit. Now it would prompt you to update your registered mobile number with ourselves and the email ID as well. Let me enter the number. and the email ID. So once you enter all, all these details, you can just click on verify button. Now the portal will ask you to authenticate the process by entering the OTP which would be shared on your registered mobile number and also the email address registered with ourselves. Let's go back to the Gmail and see if the OTP has come. So as you see, the OTP received. Let me enter the OTP. So in case if you don't receive the OTP from ourselves, you can just click on recent OTP and obtain a new one. Let's authenticate the one. So it's put us on a page where we can update our KYC documents. The mandatory ones are Aadhaar card and PAN card. So I'm just uploading the Aadhaar card for myself. PAN card. We also have to enter the Aadhaar number and the PAN number. re-enter the other number I'm just entering my PAN number now now we need to update our bank details so for your bank details you can either update your cancel check or the front page of your passbook I'm just going to upload a cancel check for myself and also update the bank related information which is your account holder name and the bank account number re-enter the bank account number IFSC code bank name and the branch name so we can just go through the page once to ensure that we've not missed on any mandatory fields and before you click on upload KYC documents you need to acknowledge the disclaimer by clicking on the checkbox now let's upload the KYC documents 
So once you upload, it gives a message and redirects you to the direct seller agreement's terms and conditions. So you can scroll down after reading through all the terms and conditions. You can acknowledge by clicking the checkbox and proceed further to sign the agreement. So now it has put us on the direct seller agreement. So one can just go through all the terms and conditions of the direct seller agreement. So once you scroll down the page, you can just acknowledge this disclaimer and proceed to sign further. So here you can type your signature, draw your signature, or you can upload it as well. So I'm just going to use the type method to sign my agreement and click on apply. So as you see, the signature that you've typed has been placed on the placeholder of the uh, agreement. So if you are not okay with the signature, you can always go back and cancel it. Click on proceed to sign and further update the signature. And apply. To proceed further, you can just click on confirm button and this is the final process of completing your direct seller agreement and the KYC process. Now it gives you a thank you message for uploading the data and the signature that you have signed will be emailed over to you automatically. You can also download the agreement by clicking the hyperlink here. So you see the signature that I've typed is captured on page one, page four, and the placeholder of the agreement. Also, the annexure in the agreement would tell me that I would get another six documents along with the DSA that I have signed on my email. Now let's go check my email to see if we've received the documents. As you see, I've received the documents with two attachments. That's my direct seller agreement and the six other documents that was in the annexure. That will be your policy procedure and handbook, direct seller orientation program, policy guidelines, water related queries, Energic India products pamphlet and product cleaning procedure. So this is the final process of completing your KYC. Thank you for watching a video today. Have a great day. Thank you.